Hey YouTube, <clears throat> welcome back. Uh, today we have this problem. It's called meeting rooms. Um, given an array of uh, of meetings of meeting time uh, called uh, intervals, where interval of intervals of i equal to start of end of the specific meeting, determine if the person could attend all meetings or not. So for this example, we have um, this array. We have a meeting start at zero and ends at uh, thirty. And other meeting start at five and ends at ten, and other meeting start at fifteen ends at twenty. And I guess it's not possible to attend all of these meetings. You only can attend this meeting specifically. And here, if attend this meeting, I guess he can attend these two meetings. And the same in this one. If we start the meeting at uh, at uh, seven and ten. That me there is meeting start at seven and ends at ten, and there is meeting start at two and ends at four. So by this one, yeah, we we could have we could uh, we could attend all the meetings. So how we can solve this problem? Let just um, and I want to make this one white. And okay, and yeah, let's just okay. So basically. We have two solutions for this specific problem. Um, one of them is that we can brute force against each one of them and compare it to all of the other elements. And when we found that we have um, a specific meetings that its timestamps included in the start of the other meetings, that means we return false, otherwise we return true. And I guess the um, the time complexity of this brute force it will be O of n uh, squared. And I guess that we can do better than that if we sorted this uh, uh, this specific array by the first for this example that we have sorting by first. And we want to make sure that um, the um, end of each element is smaller than the starting of the next element and by this way i guess uh, that we first we look we, we sort and the sort it will be all the time login and uh, we have o of n also because we loop so it will be um, n login it will be on login time complexity and it's way more better than n squared so let's just start in the coding the coding is pretty straightforward so we will just make put some base cases i will just say if um if intervals dot length equals zero i will uh, return true because if we don't have me if we don't have any intervals that means we can attend the meetings return true and i will say other other thing that i have here is that i will i will sort as we said first so i just let's see intervals that sort uh, we have um, a and b and we are going to sort based on the the first element so it will be a of zero minus b of zero and by this way we we, we sorted the array after that we will loop again for let i equals uh, zero i less than uh, intervals dot length dot length um, minus one i guess and uh, i plus plus and uh, let us just start the coding i'll say if in intervals of i um we said that we want to make sure that the end of the first of the current uh, element is less than the start of the next one so the the end of the current element is uh, it will be uh, intervals of i of 
one because we have only two elements is it, it's less it's bigger than intervals of i plus one and here we return false return false so basically what we're saying here we said that if the end of this specific meeting is uh, bigger than the start of the next meeting that means that we can't attend all of the meetings so therefore we are returning false and uh, let's continue i will say otherwise i guess i'll return true so let's just submit oh okay it worked um i guess um let just i'll make a quick recap of this question first of all we put our base case after that we sorted the the array we said that we want to sort it by the first element so because of that we did this we put the we sorted by the first element and we make a for loop and we said that if the the start the end of this specific meeting is bit it is bigger than the start of the next meeting return false because if it's bigger than it that means that we can attend the next meeting because the time it will be bigger than it otherwise return true so yeah that's it basically and um, when the loop finishes and we don't return false we just return true and that's it basically and um, um, I hope that my, my, my description was quite good my, my description for this problem was quite good my code was quite good if you like my my content make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video and uh, see you in future videos